y'all what's up welcome back to my channel i'm gonna be sharing with you guys my absolute favorite perfumes of all time <laughs> Now, in the perfumes that I'm going to be talking about, there are some that are more high-end and some that are more affordable, but I like to have a combo of both because sometimes I'll just be walking around Target or walking around the mall and I'll run into Urban Outfitters or Zara and I find cheaper perfumes that I really like. So those are also in this bundle of perfumes that I'm going to share with you guys. So first, I'm going to talk about perfumes that I like to wear during the daytime and that are perfect for the spring and summer. So first is my Da Vinci Dahlia Divine perfume. I love this so much. So all of these daytime perfumes is what I'm calling them are very flirty, are very floral scented and light. So this one smells so, so good. Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite one out of the lot of all of these because it's got a slight amber smell to it, but it's very floral at the same time. So I love wearing this during the day. Second is my Fleur Minoy Mist from Urban Outfitters. I think this is uh, $20 or $18. This smells amazing. It's a hair and body mist, so you can use this, obviously, in two ways, which is great. And it's got a more floral scent than the Da Vinci perfume does. This is definitely daytime, definitely like a youthful scent, I would say, because it's super floral, heavy and sweet kind of, but not like a candy sweet, but definitely like a vanilla, rose type of smell. Then my third favorite for daytime perfumes is my Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This smells Oh gosh, it just smells so good. I'm like out of it and I saved this, literally, I've saved this since last spring because I want, I always use it for special occasions because it's just, oh my gosh, it's super fresh. So this one is floral but has a more fresh scent to it. It's probably in the middle when it comes to intensity between all three of these. So I would say that this one is the sweetest smelling, this one is kind of in the middle, and then the Da Vinci is kind of on the other end of the spectrum being less floral, more amber, but still having kind of like floral overtone. Now as far as nighttime perfumes go, I love this one from Zara. It's Star Jasmine and Candy. This is another like sweeter scent, but it has a deeper feel to it. So it's great for nighttime or like late afternoon, like happy hour type deal. It definitely has more depth to it than the daytime perfumes that I really like. And I like that because, you know, at nighttime, you wanna be a little bit more sexy. So, <laughs> this is a really good perfume for that. And this is one of the affordable ones. This is also like $20 or so at Zara. And I really love the perfumes at Zara because a lot of them smell really good. But I picked this one up a while ago and I've used quite a bit of it, obviously. And you get a lot for your money, $20 for this big, um, what is this? 3.4 fluid ounces this is a lot. So this will last you quite a long time. The next nighttime perfume that I really love is the Chanel number no. five. This is the original. I believe this is the original. Don't quote me on that. But um, this one is really mature. Okay, this scent is really mature, grown and sexy for sure. And I wouldn't recommend this if you like more of the floral vibe because I like the floral vibe for like daytime, but this is definitely on the more, I don't even know how to, what they call it, but it's definitely more mature and more of like your grown woman type of perfume. And then my last perfume that I'll be talking about is Modern Muse by Estee Lauder. This is another nighttime because it is a little bit sweeter than the Chanel, but this still has like that deep sensual vibe to it. So these are all three are perfect for date nights. Tell your boo to get you one of these for Valentine's Day, I'm telling you, or go grab it before Valentine's Day. He will love it or she will love it. I guarantee you any of these choices for nighttime. For the date night, these are awesome choices. Oh, I also wanna mention the Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. Woo! Is amazing as well. I would say that it is a nighttime 
type of perfume as well because it definitely has a very sexy vibe to it. It also has that floral undertone too. I think I just love florals when it comes to scents and this is the other thing about perfumes. When you're looking for perfumes to try out, try it out on your skin because with different scents and perfumes, they react with our own natural body chemistry differently. So some of these that may smell amazing on me may not smell amazing on you. So always think about that just when you're looking at different perfumes and things like that. Um, sometimes I'll buy perfumes and I love the way it smells at the store and then when I get home and wear it, I'm like, mm, I don't like this. Something is, ugh, I don't know. So that's what happens because our own natural body chemistry doesn't mesh well with the perfume that we got. It may smell good, but with us, it may not. So always kind of test perfumes out and remember, buy it from a place where you can return it because if you use it one day and you don't like it, take Take that back, okay? Go ahead and return it and get something that fits you better. <laughs> oh, also I wanted to let you all know that I will be doing weekly blog posts as well. So make sure you guys head over to jadekendall.com and subscribe so you never miss a post on there. I will be posting every Friday. And as I'm on the subject, let's talk about scheduling for YouTube videos I upload every Tuesday and Thursday so you guys will have a video every Tuesday and Thursday and make sure that you are subscribed and hit that bell button so that you are on notification all right y'all I will talk to y'all later until next time bye so first I start off by brushing out my little brow hairs to see what my natural shape is and then as I tweeze I